Okay. Hello, my name is Rodrigo Celet, and with my partners Matias Gareis and Agustin Gote, um, um, we we are going to to present uh, our work. Um, this this paper uh, is titled "Well Water in the Guarani Aquifer Region: Analysis of Water of Water Purification by Reverse Osmosis Systems." Um, next, please. Uh, one of the one of the um, um, one of the grand challenge of the National Academy of Engineering is the um, the development of effective methods to to purify water to face the drinking water scarcity issue. Uh, next, please. Uh, it is important to to differentiate between the lack of water and the lack of effective methods to purify water. Uh, usually, there is a water source anywhere, but uh, many times we don't, we don't know how to, to treat it to purify it. Uh, the aim of this paper is to propose a reverse osmosis um, as, a, as an agreed alternative to the, to the treatment of, of groundwater, and especially and especially uh, applied in in the in our region, the, the Argentinian littoral. Uh, next, um, this this presentation will be divided in four parts. Uh, first, uh, current state of the Guarani aquifer. Second, concept of reverse osmosis as a tool in water purification process. Uh, third reverse osmosis and the Guarani aquifer and and finally economic uh, economic analysis and advantages of reverse osmosis systems uh, now my my partner Agustin uh, will continue with the uh, with the presentation well an uh, important question for us is what is the Guarani aquifer and why it is so important well it is one of the biggest uh, water reservoirs in the world, and it, it doesn't belong to a, a single country. It is distributed uh, between Brazil, uh, Argentina, Paraguay, and Uruguay. And another important thing is the estimated amount of water that it has. It is estimated on uh, 35,000 cubic kilometers, cubic kilometers of water, and it has a recovery rate of uh, 150 cubic kilometers per year. Uh, these characteristics make it a solid source of water for the next generation. Uh, next slide, please. Well, uh, other important aspect to see here are the economic the economic activities of this region. We can uh, remark uh, two of these uh, being agriculture and animal breeding. Uh, these two economical activities um, make uh, make uh, something rare, rare to find uh, big cities because uh, if we have a more green land, it is and more useful for this activity. And uh, uh, to this, we can find a relative low uh, population density and small cities and towns. Um, sorry. And normally, uh, we can find that small cities or town uh, doesn't have a, a river near, so they uh, should supply the demand of water using groundwater. Uh, right. Well, uh, what are the potulans we can find in groundwater? Well, first of all, we can find pesticides. Uh, this is uh, due to uh, agriculture and other methods to 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 improve uh, the farming. Uh, we can find minerals that uh, groundwater carries from, from to the surface 
and microorganisms that is have different source, but most common are the leaks on septic tank. Well, now Matthias will show us how river osmosis work. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the reverse osmosis. Uh, reverse osmosis is based in, on the principle of osmosis. In osmosis, a semi-permeable membrane separates uh, two solutions, as seen in the in the picture. Uh, this membrane allows some compounds uh, like water pass through it, but does not allow a uh, larger compounds to go. Um, the natural conduct or the natural behavior of the of in osmosis is that uh, the water to move throughout the membrane from the delay to the concentrated uh, side until the concentration is equal. Um, concentration stabilizes when the ratio of the amount uh, the amount of the water to the amount of the particle. Uh, on both sides of the membrane is uh, the same. In the first uh, picture, uh, we can see the this concept of the concentration stabilis. Uh, bien. <laughs> uh, in uh, reverse osmosis, uh, pressure is applied in the concentrated side, uh, that is in the um, contaminated side. Uh, this pressure forces the osmotic process to reverse. Uh, with adequate pressure, uh, the, uh, the contaminated water passes throughout the membrane without residue. Um, this, uh, this conduct uh, or this process uh, can, can be seen in the, in the, in the pictures. More precisely, in the second picture, um, uh, we can see the, the, the water flow uh, from the, concent the concentrated or the contaminated water to the filtered water or the uh, uh, dilute water. Uh, this is for the pressure applied in the on the um, uh, on the side the, of the contaminated water. Uh, after this uh, this process, um, the the purificated the purificated water or the clean water is collected in a storage tank or in a storage container uh, and it is ready to be consumed or, or use it. And the contaminants are eliminated um, as uh, was water. Um, okay. A stage of the process. Uh, in this picture, we can find uh, three main uh, stage of the, the process of the a purification water uh, system by by means of uh, reverse osmosis. Uh, there, there are uh, three main uh, stages. Uh, the first is the pretreatment. Uh, the pretreatment is uh, very important because if the feed water contains large particles and a lot of pressure is supply, the, the membrane will be damaged. Uh, next, uh, we can we can find the high pressure pump. Uh, this pump uh, gives the necessary pressure to the osmotic, uh, reverse osmosis process to happen. And for last, uh, we can we can find the or we can see the the membrane. Uh, in the membrane is uh, where uh, uh, produce the the reverse osmosis uh, process. Um, as um, as I said. Uh, the pretreatment uh, process is uh, very important in the um, in the reverse osmosis water purification system uh, because if the the, the feed water is not pretreated, uh, the the contaminants present in the water uh, could uh, could get stuck in the pores of the membrane, uh, clogging it. Uh, and if the, if the membrane clogging it, uh, clogging, uh, this um, this uh, stop working, and in the worst case, uh, this um, can can break or can damage. Um, in the first picture, 
uh, we can see the these pollutants or contaminants uh, get stuck in the membrane um, uh, clothing. Um, uh, for this reason, the pretreatment is very important in, and necessary in the reverse osmosis systems, uh, and the pretreatment is uh, generally uh, carried out by means of uh, activated carbon filters. And uh, now uh, Austin continue. Okay. So, uh, why we want to use uh, rubber osmosis in the Guarani aquifer? Well, uh, usually, uh, usually um, producers use a lot of chemicals like pesticides or herbicides to improve the, the production in farming. And there is a, a high risk of this contaminant uh, getting into the groundwater and then pass to humans, uh, damaging uh, the health. While uh, using rubber osmosis, we can uh, purify uh, fresh water from all these uh, pollutants. Uh, next slide, please. Well, um, but uh, we should uh, differentiate. Uh, we should uh, show the difference between rubber osmosis and rubber osmosis system. Um, rubber osmosis system is the process, but the system contains a different stage, as Matthias said. Uh, there is no a cellular ballot to purify water, so we must use uh, activated carbon filter and sediment filters to improve the, the, the efficiency of purification system. Uh, uh, usually we use uh, activated carbon filter to eliminate the uh, chemicals uh, like pesticides and herbicides and, and bacteria and sediment filters to uh, separate fresh water from minerals. Uh, now, Rodrigo will show us uh, the, the advantages of rubber osmosis system. Well, um, what are the advantages of rubber osmosis? Um, we highlighted uh, three, three aspects three positive aspects of reverse osmosis. Um, simplicity, cost, and low power requirements. Uh, next slide, please. Um, there are two aspects that makes um, reverse osmosis systems uh, very simple. The, the first aspect is the few parts. All reverse osmosis systems have the same parts. Water pump, activated carbon filter, a storage tank, pretreatment filter, and optional uh, a faucet. Uh, and next slide, please. And the other, and the another aspect that that makes uh, that makes simple uh, are the that makes simple the reverse osmosis. Sorry, uh, is the um, the load and easy maintenance. Um, the um, these systems only needs change pretreatment filter uh, annually, replace the membrane, uh, and uh, drain the storage tank uh, every two weeks uh, to renovate the water. And uh, next, please. Uh, another advantage uh, is the cost. Uh, and reverse osmosis residential uh, reverse osmosis system can cost uh, around uh, 30,000 pesos. Uh, this price can seem high, but uh, the, the money saving during the use is also high. Um, next, please. Um, while a um, liter of bottled water 
can cost um, 10 pesos. Uh, a liter of water produced by reverse osmosis um, costs uh, generally less than uh, 0.3 uh, pesos per liter, a huge difference. Um, and finally, uh, the, the last uh, advantages uh, is the low power requirements. Uh, only the water pump needs uh, electricity to run. Uh, for these reasons, um, for this reason, sorry, um, the, the 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 system, the reverse osmosis system, can be can be powered by by solar panels or or another uh, clean energy. Um, for for this for this reason. Um, this this system can be used in the in the rural areas uh, on the on the Argentinian littoral uh, to to purify the the groundwater. Um, next, uh, uh, sorry, now my my partner Matias um, continue with the presentation. Well, uh, to conclude, uh, to go out of this paper. We have focused in the use of reverse osmosis in the reverse osmosis systems in the uh, Guarani Aquifier region, specifically in the littoral Argentina. Um, in this area or in this region, uh, due to the activity, the agriculture activity, um, the presence of a pesticide uh, and or the presence and use of the, the pesticide is uh, very frequent. Uh, and this uh, translated into the, the, the contamination of the groundwater. This is a very worrisome uh, since the, the well water is consumed by the, the inhabitants of the rural areas and the consumption of a uh, Contaminated water uh, can produce uh, problem, health problems uh, in the in the people in the in the inhabitants. And according to what was analyzed in this work and in this presentation, uh, we conclude uh, that the reverse osmosis system is an effective method to purify uh, well water. Uh, uh, due to its uh, high filtering performance and low operation cost. And these advantages uh, make the reverse osmosis water purification systems uh, the, of the, um, the grid option and alternative to treat uh, groundwater. Uh, and this is the water that uh, are present in the, in the Guarani aquifer region and it is uh, used by uh, uh, inhabitants of the rural areas. And this is all uh, in the in this slide and the next. Uh, we can see the, the reference uh, that we use of uh, to develop this this paper. Um, and finally, uh, thanks for your attention. This is all.